So our job is to figure out the formula for this graph. What is it? Here are the two points on our line, negative 1, 8, and 1 over 1 up 2. Hmm, what's the formula for this graph? So we need some fighting room here. So let's take some space. It's exponential. So it's got to be of what form? y equals y sub 0 times a to the t power. All right, let's plug these values in. Uh, there's no zero in here, so we're going to have to do something different. So we'll start with uh, this t and this y. So 8 equals y sub 0 times a to the negative 1 power. And what about the other point, 1 and 2? Well, y is 2, so 2 equals y sub 0 times a to the one-th power. Hmm. Well, we can make a ratio out of this. 8 is to 2 as these guys are to each other. Yes, we could do that. 8 is to 2 as this guy is to the other guy. If we had a zero in here for the x, we could eliminate the a value, but we don't have that, so we're stuck with some other method. So what does this come to? Well, this comes to 4 is equal to this guy. Yes? Yes. Now, y, over, y sub 0 over y sub 0 means what? These guys get nuked. All right, so let's nuke them. Now what do we got? Uh-oh, I see a possible answer here. a to the negative 1 minus this 1 allows me to rewrite this whole thing. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, that didn't look good. a to the negative 1 minus 1 is a rewrite. So now what do I have? Well, negative 1 and negative 1 is negative 2. Huh. So 4 equals a to the negative 2 power. Could I rewrite that? Yes. I could say 4 equals 1 over a squared. Does this help? Well, yes, it does. Well, think of this. 3 equals 15 over 5. Same format as this guy over here. Right? Constant equals a fraction. What would I do? Well, I could change this and bring the 5 up here, and I could make this 3 times 5 is equal to 15. Then I can swap places. I can put the 3 down here and make this 5 is equal to 15 over 3. I could do that. That's all legitimate. Now, let's do the same thing over here. I have 4 is equal to 1 over a squared. I change that to 4 times a squared is equal to 1. I now swap places. I say a squared is equal to 1 over 4. Huh a squared equals 1 over 4. Take the square root of both sides. What do we get? a is equal to, well, 1 half times 1 half is equal to 1 times 1. That's 1. 2 times 2, that's 4. a is equal to 1 half. There's my base right here. Well, well, it took the square root, so I have to say plus or minus 1 half. Well, if this guy is equal to one half, we can figure out the other guy rather quickly, can't we? Yes, we can. Really? How can we do that? Well, here was our original formula over here. y is equal to y sub zero times a to the t power. And we, we then substituted. We said eight was equal to y sub 0, oh, it's too high, y sub 0 times 
a to the negative 1 power. Didn't we say that? We most certainly did. We most certainly did. Now, I just said that uh, a was equal to plus or minus 1, plus or minus 1 half. Well, let's rewrite this. a, 8 is equal to y sub 0 times 1 over a. And a is equal to 1 half, yes? So I can say 8 is equal to y sub 0 times 1 over 1 half. What's 1 over 1 half? Well, that's 1 over 1 divided by 1 over 2, which is 1 over 1 times 2 over 1. Correct? 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 1 is 1. Ah, what do you know? Here's our answer. 1 over 1 half is equal to 2 over 1. Or, I could just very easily just say 2. So, 8 is equal to y sub 0 times 2. A little bit of division here. Divide by 2. This cancels out. Divide by 2. I get myself a 4 is equal to y sub 0. What do you know? And so, here's our formula. Let's move him up a little bit so he gets some fighting room. So one possible formula would be um, y is equal to, well, y sub 0 is 4 times a to the t power. A is one half. Let's say it's a positive one half. One half. One half to the x power. That would be one possible formula. Well, let's test this out now. Y equals four times one half to the x power. Let's see if this works. Y is equal four times one half to the, let's plug in the negative one over here to the negative 1 power. 1 half to the negative 1 power. So 4 times 1 half to the negative 1 power is equal to 4 times 1 over 1 half, which is equal to 4 times, that's 2, 4 times 2 is equal to 8. Oh my goodness, that's what we get up here. Aren't we too smart and clever? Yummy, yummy. Okay, let's try the next one. That's this guy over here. Let's see if this works. Let's see if it works. Y is equal to 4 times 1 half raised to what power? Well, this time x is equal to 1. one half, Anything to the 1 power is equal to itself, so 4 times 1 half is equal to 2. And so y, which is equal to 4 times 1 half, is equal to 2, and that's what we get right over here. Uh-uh, 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 this works. Just out of curiosity, could I write this formula any other way? Yes, as a matter of fact, I could. Let's get a little bit of fighting room over here. So here's my formula. I'll put them right there. Um, this would be equal to 4 times 1 raised to the x power over 2 raised to the x power. That's the same same. But could I now rewrite this another way? Yes, I could rewrite this as 4 times 1 to the x power times 2 to the negative x power. Can I further rewrite it? Yes, as a matter of fact, I can. 1 raised to any power is equal to what? 1, all the time. So I can rewrite this as 4 times 1 times 2 to the negative x. 1 times anything is that anything. So I can get rid of the 1 altogether. 4 times 2 to the negative x power y equals 4 times 2 to the negative x power. Ha, 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 ha. If that don't beat all. That's it. I'm out of here. So long now.